Hey Taurus, hey guys. So my name is Summer and today I'm going to bring you a general energy read for you guys for the week of April 11th through the 16th, okay? So the first row I'm gonna lay out is going to be your um, matters of the heart, partnerships, non-partnerships, anything having to do with emotions. The next row I will lay out is regarding your overall finances, career, and anything health related that jumps out at me, okay? So here we go for Taurus, week of April 11th through the 16th. General messages, please, for matters of the heart. General messages, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. So from what I see here, Taurus, um, is that this week you may be have a lot of stress and anxiety regarding a union. You may have a lot of stress coming on due to uh, recently becoming single or um, thinking you're about to come become single. This was a, a hard decision for you or the other person but you're really just at the point where you're more passionate about doing the right thing and having better life experiences because this situation kept coming to um, a very stressful, like it just, I keep getting that it had you under a lot of stress and you saw that there weren't any changes um, that were going to be made. You needed somebody to very, um, purposely change. There needed to be change. There needed to be a better outcome. Um, yeah, there was just a lot of stress in this relationship. So you may have been decided or deciding to uh, just become single and independent again is what I'm seeing. Um, and I see that it's almost like a relief, like a weight lifted off your, soul, of your shoulders and it's just like all of a sudden. I just feel like this person, the relationship was more stressful. Why was it more stressful? Okay, because of the lack of communication, the lack of a really united family feeling. From, from this card, Ten of Pentacles with the Union, I really felt like this person said they wanted traditional things, but for some reason they always left you feeling like, um, not that they didn't have your back because they did, it's more like you felt like an outsider to them. You felt like you were never going to be a, become family and when they related to you or your things, it was always like, um, well, it's on your bed or this is your house. And you're like, no, this is ours. Or they did like a little uh, reverse psychology manipulation type of communication that would hurt your feelings and almost retract your whole union in an instant. And due to your life experiences and things that you um, have went through in the past, you no longer want this. You um at once where you carried and cherished this relationship so near and dear to your heart you realized you had a very important inkling that this is no longer serving this is no longer working for me this is no longer serving me um i need to change the situation so i can have better opportunities or i can at least get get some stress relief from this okay it's like you were always in crisis mode um defensive mode always having to defend yourself. So I really see by the, towards the end of the week, um, yeah, I mean, it pretty much is towards the end of the week, but maybe during the weekend, you're gonna be cherishing some time alone and you're gonna be realizing you're happier single. And I feel like you may even tell this person this. Okay, you were, you, you're in the mode now of, of thinking, of juggling the decision whether to stay on this path or break up or go down a different path 
And I also, this also signifies that this person could have been constant, like couldn't make up their mind. They couldn't decide if they wanted to be committed. Uh, one day they were committed and loved you and said all the right things. And then the next day they would just flip script and call you by your first name instead of babe like they usually do. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, and this just caused you a lot of, I feel like you put up with it because you knew their routine. You knew their um, patterns. So you hung in there, but your self-esteem just kept dropping below the point that you've never been before. And it almost, it got you so stressful that you may have got sick or you were just really tired of carrying that burden. not feeling uh, stable every day you didn't know if you were gonna have a stable relationship or if it was gonna be rocky okay so I do see this person coming back to offer you a cup of love and offer their feelings and saying they're gonna try hot, harder and um, offering you a renewal a new beginning um, however, with this Nine of Pentacles card here, I see that you're going to tell them, you know, I get it. I appreciate you coming forward. It's sad that it's taken you this long to show me any type of reciprocation or emotion. And I feel like this is the same story, different day. Same apology, same excuse, different day. I have my faults too, but I'm realizing um, that I'm... I'm, I'm happier alone. I'm better off alone. Let's just clarify that to make sure. But that's what I get with that nine of autumn or pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, yeah, you're finding your inner strength to say no. Um, I can do bad all by my damn self. And I needed somebody to help me do good. I wanted somebody to bring out the good in me and raise me up and bring out the best in me. And, you know, if I have trouble stepping up to the sun, that you were going to help lift me and not cause me all this burden and anxiety 24-7. You know, it was hard enough to, to get you to communicate or touch or anything let alone help lift me up so i just felt like uh this person really got you brought out the worst versus the best and they only really helped you up when it was convenient for them is what i'm seeing only not even convenient more like only when they wanted to only when they had the energy only when they wanted to like their love was very and friendship was very conditional. It wasn't unconditional. It was very conditional under their specific conditions. So I do feel like you're going to turn down this offer, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Leo or another earth sign. <clears throat> so let's dive into your finances and career and overall health for Taurus. Week of April 11th through the 16th thank you something that you're going to have to take immediate action on and feeling some relief in this um, maybe a job offer but one you're passionate about good what is this that fill up I don't know what placement that should be in Okay, so you get a job offer that gives you, um, is going to be very rewarding and may pay out and it may give you some relief. However, you're not quite sure um, because you're going through this major, major change, um, a transformational change, a soul change, a soul transformation. And you're kind of hesitant on taking this offer <clears throat> or putting in a job application because you really want to get out of this trade you're in you're wanting to find something more meaningful and more purposeful to your soul and where you can 
be free. Um, and Spirit's advice is to get advice. Seek out someone professional or someone external to you um, very, that's very objective. Um, somebody that isn't in your circle. Somebody that isn't emotionally attached to you. Um, because they were, they're going to... You already have the answer, but I feel like they're going to provide you with the same answer. And you're going to take it because... It was, you just needed that confirmation pretty much. And then you're going to move forward and take a job offer. And it's going to be a very wise decision. Um, you'll have retirement and all of those things, but let's see which path you choose, okay? Let's get some clarifiers. Woo. Yep, a new job offer. Hmm. Okay, so you're getting relief from this job offer because you were very scared on finances. And, oh, you could have recently just lost a job, Taurus. And this is you finding relief. The sun comes out again after this uh, loss. Yeah, you feel, um, but you also feel burdened by this with the priest, high priestess in um, <clears throat> reverse with the eight of cups. You're wanting something more meaningful and if you know you go back to this trade it's going to you're not going to have control anymore you're not going to have that spark you're going to the same dull mundane thing even though it's going to pay the bills and you just feel out of control and i think that's best for you to think to think that way and stay that way but put it to a good intention instead of saying i have no control i'm not i'm scared i don't know what to do give it to the universe Okay, just give it to the universe or to your God or whatever it is. Clarify this king of, okay. <clears throat> okay, after you make this decision, for some of you, I do feel like you're gonna be able to sleep better. I feel like you're gonna go to sleep, uh, go to sleep at night and feel 10 times better because up until this point, I don't think you've been sleeping very well. Um, okay, and it says the job you're choosing is the sun. It is what you really want to do. And you're a little hesitant um, on finances. Will I have enough if I choose my, my passion instead of what pays the bills and it's saying it's going to be okay it's you're going to honor yourself you're going to honor what you teach your children and what you preach about which is follow your path follow your true purpose even if it scares you even if your voice shakes speak the truth and i feel like you're going to do it for some of you i feel like this is like a stay at home job A little bit more of a domesticated job after you abandon this yeah you're abandoning this toxic environment this toxic relationship toxic career and um, things that brought you down and you're changing for the better and you're going to get be be more happy being domesticated and at home more and having the freedom and it's going to bring you your Ten of Cups. It seems like once you choose what you're really destined for instead of the toxic environment that you're contemplating on going back to, <clears throat> that everything, all the doors are going to open up for you. Um, a new soulmate is going to come in and give you the love that you weren't getting, I feel like. Um, you may be also relocating to a different home. But your finances are also going to boost. And I also feel like within the next year, Taurus, you're gonna you're going to start planning for a child as well. And I some of you I already think you do have one, but this is you coming out of that toxic environment and <clears throat> feeling like you're about to lose your home, feeling like you're about to lose all your finances. It's about to jump for you. 
as long as you stay true to yourself and as long as you take the steps to ensure to ensure your financial financial security, I feel like everything will go just peachy. Um, just make sure you're being wise about your investments and that you're not being scammed or anything that you invest in. Just plan very well and be very wise about the decisions you are making. Um, but this is what you got two Ten of Cups and ten, two Ten of Pentacles. So whatever it is, you can make whatever decision you want, but one is like a scared decision and one is your true passion decision. Um, the only thing I see here is Honestly, just not much, maybe a few allergies, like springtime allergies, but also um, the sleepless nights. But I feel like those are going to get better um, because after, I feel like after today or tomorrow, um, the obsessive thinking is going to stop. It's going to, you're going to have a sigh of relief all across the board and the sun's gonna come back, okay? So, Taurus, I hope this helped. Let me know if it did, and I will talk to you next week, okay? Bye, lovelies.